Hello everyone. First off, I'd like to say that it is a privilege to be given a platform to share my opinions with all of you. Today, I want to talk a little something we all know of. Uh, motivation. We hear it all the time, I just don't feel like studying today. Or I just can't seem to push myself to go to work. I just don't have the motivation. When I hear people complain and make excuses about what they have to do, but they just don't want to do it, it really frustrates me. And to turn that aggravation into useful thought, I, Vanshajwani, present to you my topic. Motivation is overrated. The reason I chose this subject is because I believe that many people think motivation is a significant element of success. And, that it, and that's simply not true. Not too long ago, I used to feel the same way. Making notes, preparing for an exam, or doing chores around the house was impossible to do without the magic force, without the all-powerful force of motivation. But as time passed, I felt a greater sense of responsibility and commitment towards my family, my school, my goals. Putting on that weight on my back caused me to shift my mindset and think differently. I could no longer wait around hoping for a spark of energy that made the tougher parts in life seem any easier. I began to realize that to attain my goals and to grow as a person, I needed to give it my all even when I didn't feel like it. To explain it better, here's a little example. All of us here at the beginning of a new year write these little things down called New Year's resolutions. We all know of them, right? One of the well-known ones that we are all familiar with is uh, get into shape. So what do you do? You go to the gym, you get a gym membership, you buy all the expensive gear from Nike, from Adidas, from Skechers. You are motivated. You are inspired. You go to YouTube, you subscribe to all the fitness gurus, to all the fitness channels, you go to Instagram, you follow all the fitness models, you are going to get in ship, shape and that's for certain. All the people that you are following online have been working out for a minimum of five years to look the way that they do. You have an incorrect understanding that after a week or two of working out, you're going to be looking like them. So, first month of going to the gym, you feel excited. Your legs get sore each time you push yourself, but you keep going. But then life happens. You have a terrible day at school, you drop your grades, you fall ill, something happens. And all of a sudden, you stop feeling like going to the gym. The feeling turns into a habit and the habit, your lifestyle. Suddenly, you open your eyes and realize you've had a gym membership for the last two months, but you haven't get, get gone a single day. So what happened? What did you miss? You thought all you needed was motivation. You thought it was the winning formula. Let me tell you something. Success isn't all just motivation or drive. It requires a special something known as discipline. Why discipline? Because discipline implies getting things done because it needs to get done. Not because you feel like it. Not because you're motivated for it. Just think about it. Do you think Cristiano Ronaldo, arguably one of the best football players in the world, makes his body go through hell at the mighty age of 37 just because he is motivated for it? Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in prison just because he was motivated for it. No. The successful people in life, those who make a difference in the world, studying them will make you realize that they excel in the work that they do because they have a commitment to, to do it and that they are going to see it through. What do we learn? Be careful with the decisions that you make because once you make the commitment to get something done, you have to see that decision through. A beautiful quote. First, we make the decisions and then the decisions make us. Motivation, it's a driving force. It gets us going, makes us feel pumped, it feels awesome. However, it fades after a while. It's not the final ingredient your recipe needs to cook up success. As I conclude my talk, I wish that all of you take something positive away from our presentation and are able to inculcate discipline in your life to reach your goals. Thank you.